I don't even want to do an official prediction. Again, this is just not, to me, a fight that holds much merit to me. And then after watching the weigh-in, it's just it, it even further pushed me away. And Cotto Gill, I'm just not excited for. And I've supported all of Cotto's fights. Daniel Gill struggled to make weight. I know a thing or two about fitness and making weight. I'll put the link in the description in case you want to watch the, the highlight clip from HBO. But I watched the whole full weigh-in, but that'll give you an idea. And Daniel Gill just looks ghastly. He looks very gaunt. Two, he that's his lowest weight in eight years. A lot of people, see, this is where, where I have to show you guys and try to drop a gym and give some expertise because a lot of people, oh, it's just three pounds. Three pounds means something because it's not just three pounds. You got you to gotta think of it like this. And it's all based on how much mileage you have on your body and stuff like that. But I didn't like the early warning signs that I seen from Daniel Gill. I see, I see there was all the indications that he struggled to make weight or this was difficult. And the rehydration process is different for different people. Then other people, when they even when they rehydrate, they're still low energy. Their punch resistance goes down even more. Um, they're lethargic and slow, different things like that. So weight train. I mean, it looked like, to me, it looked like Daniel Gill was ready to fall over. Like, even when he's doing the standing, it looked like he was weighing. Go just watch the, the link in the description. It looked like he was swaying as um, he's standing with Kodo. I don't know. I just didn't like what I seen. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a stoppage. I'm not doing an official prediction. I don't. I'm going to watch it, but, I mean, hopefully Daniel Gill rehydrates. What up, Fight pounds. World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, in my post-fights, as you guys know, I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some of you guys, if you're unrealistic, diehard Kodo fans or radical fans in general, you probably won't like this because I'm going to speak some truth in this video. Now, the, the audio snippets that you guys just heard was my unofficial prediction i told you i was like i don't want to do a prediction but i gave you the insight as to what was going to happen and in that video link in the description i told you what to expect i said i could see it going a decision if this was at 160 but how gill looked at the at the weigh-in i told you stoppage stop it stop it stop it i told you guys that gill was drained and a lot of people agree with me. But there were a lot of people who said, oh, it's just three pounds. He'll be all right. Gil, he, he's herky-jerky. That's just three pounds. It doesn't mean anything. And they were disputing it. And I know my shit. You know what I mean? I know you guys hate when I say that. But I'm telling you, he struggled to make weight. Point blank, period. It was so apparent. All the red flags were there. All the indications were there. And me as a boxing fan... I put these post fights and these wins and these victories in perspective. And the perspective is Cotto almost took away most of his credit. You know what I mean? Like he, this added catch weight handicap per this situation. I told you guys, you got to look at catch weights from a, a case by case basis. Gill got stopped by Triple G. He had one fight back against Jared Fletcher, who had been stopped already by a middleweight named uh danny jacobs the miracle man the cancer survivor right and he went the distance with him and that was his last fight since being stopped by triple g so he's he wasn't even he didn't have no momentum at one point in time gill was you know what i mean in the top five of the division but that was that was years ago you know what i'm saying but he's been through wars darren barker triple g stoppages he's been through those tough fights and he's an older fighter he's like so i expected this and then when i seen him in weight uh at the weigh-in i told you it was a wrap the indications were there. He was clearly drained. Now, again, some people are like, oh, you're hating, you're hating, you're hating on my Kodo. I'm not hating on Kodo. I'm speaking the fact. And if I was hating on it, then I wouldn't have made the video yesterday telling you precisely what was going to happen in this particular fight. So, again, if Kodo wanted full credit for this victory, he should have at least fought him at 160. And, and check this. This is the crazy thing about it. At this point, even if he fought Daniel Gill... At 160, I would have picked Cotto to beat him anyway. You know what I'm saying? Daniel Gill is not what he once was, like, I, like I've been saying. He doesn't have, like, threatening power. Some people say he's herky-jerky. That Triple G loss, I think, took something something uh, tremendous out of him as well. And if you look at it, out of all the middleweights, Curtis Stevens, Triple G, Peter Quillen, Andy Lee, David Lemieux, all those dudes can crack. He doesn't have cracks like that. He, he doesn't hit hard like that. So really, what is he going to do? How is he going to win a decision in Cotto's second home of New York? You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't have the knockout power. You know what I mean? Who's he knocked out of note? You know what I'm saying? So 
this was an easy fight for me to to predict and i told you guys what it was going to be especially when i seen daniel gill at the weigh-in so a lot of you guys can take i i see what you guys do you leave these comments call those back it's the new improved it's not to me you got to show me more like you if again if you wanted more credit for this win you could at least beat him at 160. Even though he's Triple G's leftovers, you would have at least, because we know Cotto is not the biggest middleweight, you would have got credit. But I, I got to put it in perspective, and I got to be real with it. Sergio Martinez, whether you want to skirt around the issue or not, it was apparent his knee was bothering him. The man could barely stand up. And then Daniel Gill, you, you kind of lessen your victory by having it at a catch weight that he hasn't made in eight years, and he looks fully weight drained. And again, I... Go look at the comments before they delete him on that video. I told you guys. And some of you guys were like, no, he'll, he'll be all right. It's just three pounds. There's nothing wrong with him. He'll rehydrate and he'll be just fine. I know the signs. I'm telling you. I know my shit. Deal with it. So good job, Kodo. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Kodo is Kodo. Kodo is a phenomenal boxer. Deep resume. It just, he would have got more credit if he were to produce this type of result against a better level of opposition and or not at a catch weight of making your opponent come down three pounds when they already struggled probably to make 160. That's just the truth behind it. If he were to do that to Canelo, I'd give him all the praise in the, in the world. To me, that should happen next. I don't think he'll fight Triple G next. Fight Canelo. That's, that's a still a money fight. Canelo's bounced back since the Mayweather loss. Make that particular fight. If you do that to Canelo, then I'll give you, I'll bow down and give Cotto all the praise. If he if he looks like he just did with, with Daniel Gill against Canelo, I will bow down and say, Cotto's the man. He needs all the recognition in the world. But again, styles make fights where fighters are at their career, and that's just the gist of it. So to me, it was impressive how he performed, but it was really expected. Like you you weren't you weren't in there with the world beater. You weren't in there with the guys that should have a lot of confidence. And most importantly, I told you guys, he was drained. It was it was very apparent. I mean, Triple G is an actual certified big puncher, and he fought him at middleweight. And Triple G's punches, he at least took some of Triple G's punches a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know Cotto don't hit as hard as Triple G. I don't care what nobody says. But um, Cotto, Cotto can crack, but I don't think he has Triple G at middleweight cracks. And if you look how Daniel Gill responded at the Triple G weigh-in, versus this particular weigh-in it just all the signs were there and like i said some of you guys are going to be like oh ego you're hating i'm not hating if i was hating i wouldn't have made a video beforehand telling you exactly what to expect so um props congrats Cotto, you did it you know what i mean so hopefully we just see Cotto in there with a good name he did what he was supposed to do he's, he's a great boxer but i mean his last two opponents there there's an asterisk by it and that's that's just real. And I and I like Cotto. I'm a real big Cotto fan, but I call it like I see. Let me know what you guys seen in this particular fight. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is ego, son and